What's going on guys? My name is Nicole Charnel and today's video is about how to stick to your daily quiet time. One of the major focuses in Christianity is love and connection, especially your love and connection with God. So having a daily quiet time is super important if you want to cultivate that connection you have with him. Sometimes, however, sticking with your daily quiet time is difficult. Life tends to get in the way and we tend to put our quiet time with God on the back burner. But today I have some tips for you of how you can stick with your quiet time so it can become a priority in your life. First tip I have is put your Bible and your journal right next to your bed. So as soon as you wake up in the morning, you don't have to go far. You can literally pick your Bible up while you're still in the bed, you're still under the covers, still in your jammies, and you can get right to your quiet time. This this will take away the thought in your mind uh, that wants to delay you for getting up, getting your Bible if it's not in your room. That way it's right there, it's within arm's reach and you have no excuses. This especially works if your quiet time is first thing in the morning, which I highly recommend before you even get out of the bed, before you touch your phone, start scrolling or anything like that, grab your Bible and your journal and have your quiet time with God. The second tip I have for sticking with your quiet time is to start a habit tracker. I love to see my habits right there in front of me, see how many days I've been consistent in a row, just seeing the number go up is very encouraging to me. I know on some apps like the YouVersion app, it actually has a number tracker within the app. And just seeing how many days you have had in a row where you have been in the app and you have been reading your Bible, just seeing that number go up just feels so good and seeing your streak increase. But also, if you just do it on paper and do your habit tracker, also maybe in your journal or maybe in your planner, you can see your streak increase that way. And that will definitely give you encouragement to want to stick to your quiet time every day because you don't want to break your streak and you want your tracker to keep going. The third tip I have is to plan your quiet time out. So each week in my planner, I definitely put my quiet time in there. I do my quiet time first thing in the morning, so it's my very first thing on my daily list. I also put myself a little encouraging note on the side saying this is what I want to focus on this week, keeping my quiet time every single day. You also want to plan what you're going to read. Sometimes if you're using an app, you can pick one of the pre-made plans within the app and you can just follow that or you can make your own plan, which is something I like to do and decide, okay, I'm going to start reading this book of the Bible and I'm when I complete that book, I'm going to read this next book. You can read the Bible chronologically or you can just read it in the order that it's written. Whatever you do, as long as you have a plan when you sit down with your Bible, then you know what you're reading. You don't have to think about it. You can just pick up your Bible and go. The next tip I have is think about your why. Why are you doing this quiet time every day? Why is it important for you to stick with this quiet time every day? If you remember your why, you will have more encouragement to stick with your quiet time. You don't want to give up because you want to reach your goal or you don't want to give up because you don't want to delay your growth in your Bible study. Whatever your reason is for sticking with your quiet time, make sure you have it clear in your mind so that way you'll want to stick with it. Before I move on to my last tip, I just want to say welcome to my my channel. I do videos on health and fitness as well as minimalism and intentional living. I'm also working on sharing my creativity in ways to help you improve your happiness and inner peace. My last tip I have is don't give up. Even if you miss a day, you miss a morning, just move on from that and start the next day. Or even if you miss your morning, do your quiet time in the evening that day. That way you won't feel discouraged, you won't be beating yourself up. Just continue on with it maybe later on in the afternoon or just continue the next day. The point is to just keep going and keep going and keep going. That way it's easier to stay in the habit of doing your quiet time every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I also have some other videos on my channel about discipleship and Christianity as well. I'll make sure I link those on the screen. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!